Mother, I think there's a ghost in my basement. What? All right, so last, last night, Addie and Tess, they were in bed, okay? And you know how around 11.45, like clockwork, I always get the munchies. Yes, I, you've mentioned it. So it was 11.42 and I was laying in my man cave bed. And I, I was like, I know in three minutes, I'm going to be hungry like clockwork. And wouldn't you know it, 11.45 came around and I was hungry. Is this a story about a ghost or a minute by minute recap of your evening? Well, I'm getting there, mother. So anyways, I got out of bed. Like I laid there for like a good 42 seconds. And I was like, maybe, maybe this is the night where I'm not going to eat in bed. Cause mother, I've just got crumbs like crazy in this bed. And no matter how many times I wipe them into the floor, it always seems like they're regenerating in my sheets. By the way, I got those t-shirt sheets. I ordered them off Amazon. And I tell you, it's like sleeping in a t-shirt. Yes, I'm starting to drift off. I don't, I thought this was going to be a ghost story. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. So anyways, I couldn't find anything to eat and I was like, dang it, go to bed. So as I'm going to bed, I passed by the door to the basement, mother, and I heard a ooh coming from the basement. And I turned around to make sure the TV was off and it wasn't. So I turned off the TV and then I was like, okay, that was the TV. So I go back and I'm passing by the basement door and I hear something like a, did you hear that? It was like a, I mean, that could be anything. It could be a acorn falling or a cat scratching against the door. I don't. Mother, I just think our house is haunted and I don't need that right now. Well, you know what you have to do then? Move. I mean, that's one choice. All right. Well, do you have, do you have a metal detector? Um, I don't. I have an iron. What about a thermometer? I do have a thermometer. Okay. I think if you can take a thermometer and go next to your door, your basement door, and then see if the air is colder. Because if there's a cold spot, that is definitely a ghost. I know that. I've watched ghost hunter shows. Mother. Yes. The other day, I went down to the basement because I needed a broom. Yes. And when I walked up to that broom, you know how it's in the far left corner next to our Christmas tree? Yes. Okay, so I went over there and I was like, brr, it's cold right here. Oh. Mother. My house is haunted. Okay, all right, just. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. All right, it's gonna be all right. I want you to take some deep breaths. Just hold (laughs) Let's think about this for a minute. You've lived there a long time. Okay, I, are you breathing? I think, okay, that's not, I don't think you should breathe like that. You're gonna choke yourself. I was trying to de- breathe deep, mother. Well, it seemed like you were hyperventilating. <sighs> don't, don't, you have to stop that. Ghosts feed on fear, so if you keep doing that, it's gonna come right up into your room. Okay. Okay. How can I not be fearful, mother? Because it's like, it's just like when a dog barks at something because it knows it's afraid. A ghost will come into your room because it knows you're afraid. It just feeds off of it. It's like, it's like food. (gasps) It knew you were hungry and it was eating too. Wait, that means the ghost gets hungry when you get hungry though. Is this a sign from above that I should quit snacking after after 10 p.m.? That was not what I was thinking, but that's one option. Oh my goodness. It makes so much sense now, Mother. I thank you, ghost.
All right. Well, 